Now let's talk about the other abnormalities of JVP waveform. Let's see what happens in the tricuspid regurgitation. In tricuspid regurgitation, we see the here we see a giant V wave or a CV wave. A CV wave is seen in uh, very severe tricuspid regurgitation. So what happens in tricuspid regurgitation is that blood flows from right ventricle to right atrium during systole. If in systole the blood fro flows from uh, right ventricle to right atrium, it will increase the pressure in the right uh, atrium and this will uh, increase the pressure in the right atrium and also the, during this phase there is filling of uh, atrium so this will lead to rise in V wave now if in, in case of severe uh, uh, tricuspid regurgitation the X wave is absent and it will lead to a formation of a CV wave and now we can talk about slow Y descent slow Y descent is seen in a tricuspid stenosis uh, now we know why a uh, Y descent is seen Y descent is seen uh, during the phase of ventricular uh, filling if there is obstruction due to tricuspid stenosis the blood will flow slowly from right atrium to right ventricle because of the less opening of the valve and this will lead to tricuspid stenosis so what do we see in tricus uh, tricuspid stenosis we see a giant A wave in tricuspid stenosis we see a giant A wave and a slow Y descent it is seen in tricuspid stenosis now let's talk about permanent Y descent a permanent Y descent is seen in uh, very uh, in many conditions like constrictive pericarditis, severe right-sided heart failure, atrial septal defect and tricuspid uh, regurgitation. The basic idea in uh, prominent Y descent is that there is very large uh, large amount of blood in the uh, right atrium uh, either due to uh, less filling or ventricular filling or due to large amount of blood coming from uh, left atrium or due to tricuspid regurgitation which will lead to a very fast uh, flow of blood during the rapid ventricular filling uh, which will lead to prominent void descent thank you